New information and a developing story we broke first this morning on social and on air. A SWAT standoff in Orchard Mesa Mobile Park ends, but not before a nearby school shelters in place. Yeah, the Grand Junction Police Department telling us they now have a man in custody. Our reporter Adam Woodbury has been following this situation all day. He's joining us live from where it all occurred, Adam. Yeah, good evening, Bernie and Hannah. Now, this actually started right around 940 this morning. At least that's what the police were telling us. It happened at this mobile home community, the Western Hills Mobile Homes. Now, uh, police said that they, uh, you know, they had a guy in custody, as you mentioned. It, right now, it's pretty quiet. Things seem pretty back to normal, but that certainly was not the case earlier today. I mean, let's take a look at the, some of this footage that we shot. Now, the police department says they got a call of felony menacing near 27 and B and a half roads. Police said the caller said an intoxicated man broke the window in a neighbor's trailer and threatened to kill the caller's family. Now that's when police said that this man barricaded himself inside the mobile home and claimed he had a gun. And that's when the SWAT team was called in. And the whole thing lasted about five hours. And that's when police said that they got 46-year-old 40, Randy Pearson behind bars. Now he is charged with a number of charges, one of them second degree assault. Now the police department hasn't said all of what he's facing just yet. We're still waiting for more of those details to come in. And you know, Bernie, you mentioned that school that is just down the road. That's really about half a mile, just a couple of blocks from where we're standing. So you can see why they'd want to, you know, keep the children safe. It just really out of precaution. But uh, for now, we're still waiting to get some more of those details and we're going to send it back to you though. Yeah, sure. Standard protocol usually in these type of situations, Joseph Rios Elementary and the surrounding area put on shelter in place while those officers tried contacting the person. Police do say now there is no ongoing threat to the community.